Hello, 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 how's everyone doing tonight? Let me lower the volume of the music a little bit. There it is, that's better. We are back, and I didn't want to do that. I think I do that every time, I think. Um, so, <laughs> let's fix that again. Uh, we're starting soon, sign. Uh, food that's here. Um, this blue dye and some glow ink. So yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day or had a good day. It's pretty much evening for everyone. Starting soon. There we go. Fixed all of our mistakes. Um, so today we are gonna go to the ice fortress. Uh, I have one specific thing. Sorry, I need to sit and not upright, all crooked, but that's how I'm comfortable. Uh, yeah, I, I cleaned up this little area here between streams. And um, yeah, I want to dig a big hole down there. I also also changed uh, this thing here, this part here. Uh, we had uh, dug out this little crevice in the last stream when we were here. So I made the walls a bit better and I made a uh, a black uh, uh, black fog effect, kind of. It's not exact. well, it, no, it's a fog effect because we see it as kind of be being foggy. But uh, there's no light underneath or anything. There is one layer of purple, I think, purple glass. No, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be purple. It can be magenta. That wouldn't really work. Uh, but yeah, we uh, I I did that between streams. Worked a bit on the bridges here, so now it looks super cool when we come in from here. And like you're here and you. Oh well, hello Iondis and Iondis' viewers, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for saying hello. So as I was talking, or as I was saying, hello banana boy. 
<laughs> Ion Raid. I did not know they were called Ion Raid. That's very, very cool. It's my first actual real raid. That's amazing. That is great. Uh, yeah, now that I uh, I see it, it, it makes total sense that it would be called a, an Iron Raid. Um, oh, hello CLS, you were delayed. No worries at all. No worries at all. <laughs> Best name you could come up with. That That's a very, very good name. It, um, it makes total, total sense. So yeah, we're here in the Frozen Fortress or something like that. We, we need a better name than that, but uh, I, I don't have one yet. I don't have an, an actual name for anything here yet, so uh, it's something we gotta figure out eventually. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, in the last room that we were here, we work on this little crevice, this little ravine, and the bridges that go across it. And today we're gonna build a... Um, we're gonna dig a big hole down here. Uh, down uh, in this uh, space here, so there were a bunch of spikes, so I removed them, and um, yeah, let's, let's get started, let's just start making holes, I'm not sure how deep I want it to be, and since I am extremely lazy, I will be using commands, of course, it's circus music, sometimes it is circus music, uh, so how was your stream I on this? I, I noticed you were on a server. It's beautiful, thank you. You were on... I, I, I couldn't join before uh, starting my own stream, but you were on the Fever Dream server. That's a very uh, good sounding <laughs> name for a server. It doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. <laughs> so... Um, it looked like a very, very cool place. Did you have a fun stream? <laughs> Cloud control, yeah. Fever Dream is super fun. That's amazing! Whee! Um, so... Very, very cool. And you had your 12-hour uh, stream yesterday. I hope it went well after I uh, had to leave. So it was to celebrate your 30 members, is that it? Did I get this right? Favorite Minecraft server Fever Dream, that's perfect, that's amazing. So yeah, for uh, the new viewers here, this is a series that I do in creative where I build communities and uh, like villages or, or settlements for uh, for uh, different biomes that do not currently have villages. It, it's based on villages but it's uh, it's settlements in, in general. Uh, so in this one here we're in an, an ice spikes biome. And uh, yeah, I'm making an, a frozen fortress, an ice fortress type of thing. So it's it's not done yet, but we're gonna have like a big tower here made out of snow and ice. Um, and yeah, we got some walls. It did kind of turned into a uh, level design challenge as well. Uh, I kind of made a, a path that the a, a player would follow in here and different places that they could visit. 30 members, yes, 12 hours of utter chaos. <laughs> yeah, tw 12 hours, I, I can be good for the voice, so my, my voice would be pretty bad after that. chat and drink a little sip of tea. I'm drinking tea to the, well tonight r right now because it's, it's a bit late for me and I have to get up early tomorrow because I'm gonna have to give a class at 8.30 a.m. which is like if, you, if we look back at last year I, I was barely getting up at 8.30 and now I have to be up and 
pertinent, I have to be uh, like a relevant person, say things that make sense. So yeah, I'm just drinking tea, no coffee at this time, sadly. Yeah, you, you, you're going through some stuff, CLS, that's totally understandable, do not worry about it at all. We've been working more on the, uh, the other, uh, the other villages. Uh, so we have a jungle city that we're building, we could visit it a bit later today. Uh, but yeah, we're building a, uh, jungle city, and we have a uh, mushroom island village. Kind of a fishing village that got uh, corrupted by some weird magic. So we got some uh, fun stuff going on this uh, in, in this little world here. So are, are things getting better where you are, CLS? Or it's still chaos and, and, and no fun? Yeah, and, and <laughs> do, do not apologize for not not coming to stream. I, you, you explained your situation, and yeah, don't feel bad. I, I shouldn't be a priority. Like, like come come watch me if you uh, if you want if you 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 like. But like, there there are more important things than that, usually. As I mentioned, we're digging a big hole, and I want this hole to um, kind of show a, a kind of a structure. So it's not ju just gonna be a, a little hole like like a random uh, hole in the ground or a uh, landslide or something like that. It, it's gonna be a structure that has been dug out. So I'm thinking of like making kind of an, an inverted ziggurat. <laughs> That's the uh, best. Uh, best word I, I have for that uh, so kind of uh, like a few layers going inwards with like arches and kind of s since it's gonna be um, a place for strays uh, some so, so some kind of mausoleum or something I'm, I'm not sure how to properly explain it but yeah that it, something along those lines so that's what we're gonna be doing in this little hole and worst case scenario we can always cover it up completely shouldn't be a problem if uh, you know if it's just horrible <sighs> yeah okay I totally understand a uh, classic glass fog effect uh, at the bottom. Uh, I want to avoid it because I've been using it kind of for every hole that I have. So um, yeah, I, I, I want to avoid it for uh, for this. So it's just gonna be kind of an inverted pyramid or a uh, just a slanted hole with uh, an actual structure and a, a function and not just a, uh, I keep thinking of the word but forgetting it when I uh, when I I want to say it um, but yeah I, it's, it's kind of what I'm uh, I want to do here so now I'm not sure why I'm exactly I'm just digging things like that let's just start working on on making the structure look nice so what we're gonna need is a bit, f a, a bit more flat walls, flatter walls. We're gonna need something like that. Uh, so we are gonna start this, and like in in cases where, uh, like for example here, well it would just be more snow covering the thing here in front, but the flat wall would stay flatter, like in in the back here. I don't know if it made sense the way I said it, but yeah, we're gonna have a flat surface here, and it's gonna just 
droop over this over this part so we have one here and we're also gonna try and um, incorporate the um, the big spikes themselves into the sides of this structure Just gonna change all the stone into snow. So if I do that, uh, 20, oops, minus 20. Uh, we're gonna go 10 blocks tall and minus 20. Uh, snow. Snow block. Replace no stone. Did I make it too big? No, perfect. Uh, replace dirt. And replace gravel. And a bit more dirt to replace. Um oops. gonna fill those in manually it's not really worth doing them with a command block and uh, with a command so I noticed a um, change of uh, a change of name CLS is there a story behind that it was a successful read it it definitely was I hadn't had any viewers yet I think so thank you so much for the raid it's really truly appreciated also I uh, made some research and I realized I'm not popular enough to have the permission to raid so I'm not I don't know if you're still here eye on this but um, uh, for a while still I'm gonna have to um, raid you the old school way in a uh, non-official raid because yeah YouTube thinks I'm not cool enough for that I don't uh, I don't deserve that right or something I'm not sure what their reasoning is but uh, you apparently do not exist when you have under a thousand subs sadly and since this is the case for me, well, eh, no raid. Well, hello, Ryder CFO. That's a name I have not seen in a while. Wow. I've been live streaming on YouTube. Yes, I have. I started it about a month, a bit more than a month ago. Yeah. I've been doing good. And you haven't talked to you in so long. That's amazing. Thank you for uh, for joining us today. But yeah, I've been um, doing good, doing good. I I uh, started a new job, kind of, and uh, now I'm a, I'm a real teacher now. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, the, the the big the big new stuff. <laughs> The big, the big news. Um, so, oh, the name you invented for yourself. So you decided to uh, switch back to your uh, actual name.
Yeah, YouTube's gotta be rude like that, apparently. Rude, rude YouTube. So, Ryder, I have to ask, are you still playing on Impulse's patron server? Are you still uh, active in, in that community, in that group? I uh, I uh, had to uh, end my subscription a little while ago, sadly. Um, you know how things go sometimes. Uh, the finances disagree with uh, with patron servers, or uh, well, with with uh, Patreon, <laughs> and you have to. Uh, readjust your priorities sad adult stuff you have two subs you've been away from the server okay but you've you've been keeping in touch with the uh, the other peeps that's very cool it's cool to hear lots of fun people down there Um, okay, does that work? Does that make sense? Uh, so far I don't really like it all that much. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna work on the shape first. <laughs> we got a celebrity in chat. Woohoo! Very famous people. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, it's it, it's often what happens with uh, communities like that. You kind of go there, you don't know many people, then you meet people and you start your... They start their own project, you go and join them. And yeah, it, it's kind of the same thing that happened to me uh, back in my days. I sound so old when I say that. But yeah, like I had my, my bunch of, uh, of friends for the, from the server and some of them left and started their own thing. Then I join other communities. Yeah, but I still have my uh, my friends from uh, from that server. Um, do I like this? So it would be kind of going like that, but all the way down, with like multiple layers. Uh, maybe we could add some stairs or something like that. <laughs> Everyone needs two subs. I'm still at the point where two subs would make a great difference. <laughs> This one song sounded very random. It absolutely did. Um, not sure what that song was about, but uh, it's. Uh, I think I, I mentioned it at some point. But it's just the uh, the entire library of songs from uh, Kevin McLeod that I've used in my videos. It's just the the entire library that I've downloaded. Well, no, not his entire library, but just all the songs that I've used. So, um, yeah, some of them might have been used in some specific context where they made sense, but they don't make sense now. 
do I say that? I did filter them a bit. Uh, I removed some that really didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not. G I I'm not gonna go there tonight, uh, Ryder. <laughs> no offense. I just. Uh, I. 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 I won't avoid politics. <laughs> I'm uh, very. I'm not really uh, that involved in 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 politics in general. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To 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 be honest, I haven't really followed that entire uh, the entire uh, thing that had happened with that. The uh, only thing I'd be willing to say is I'm really not a fan of that guy. <laughs> that's uh, that's as far as I'm gonna go. Excited for the mob vote. It's gonna be what? It's a, not even a week from now. No, it's it's in four days, I think. It's gonna start Friday. Or did I get this wrong? Sniffer, yeah, I'm I'm a a big fan of the sniffer myself. It's it's just so so adorable. But I've I've read a uh, a comment by a cop fan who said that it might not be as uh, like it, it it might not be as as obvious as it sounds because uh, with the big change that they're they're doing to the vote, it's uh, a, a bit less about Twitter popularity and. There's gonna be some some more people that vote with the way they they're doing it now. So um, yeah, they're gonna get a different type of voters. So it it might might be different, although he has been very very openly in favor of the tough golem. So it, it might just be. Him being in denial. <laughs> Still salty about the flower cow. Um, rascals. I I don't know. It it really depends on what they give. Like if if it's like NCD raid type of uh, of loot, it it's gonna be useless, of course. But. Uh, if it's uh, it could be better than that it could be it could be uh, like special loot if it's something special I would be uh, I'd be uh, happy yeah yeah you need the game to vote now But yeah, I um, I agree. Uh, I agree that it, it's a weird, so it's a weird choice to uh, give tools to people when they're in a place where they need these tools to to go. Wait, did that make sense? I'm sorry, my my brain is kind of in a uh, not working situation. It's a it, I was gonna say it's a bit late. It's not late. I'm just always tired. 
story of my life. Um, but yeah, it's it's a weird choice to have them give uh, give players tools like that. So it, I'm I'm guessing they're gonna be smart with that, and it's gonna be kind of a more special tools. And like the the tough golem could be cool. It it kind of feels like a a mix between an, an armor stand and a uh, a uh, an, an well, item frame. But like w w when I say armor stand, I mean like armor stand statues. Because uh, I mean, Brin is in French mode. No, Brin is is just in uh, no work mode. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be better in French. I would still struggle. <laughs> yeah, a live picture frame. But like having something carry items like that, it, it kind of feels like it, it or d displaying items kind of feels like a uh, a way to uh, to work with the uh, the uh, armor stands. Statues, which now that I think of it, is something I should add to this this world eventually to make some pretty stuff with uh, with armor stands. That would be fun. It's cool but useless. I I disagree with useless because it just depends on the way you play the game. Like there are many things that are useless to me but useful to people to other people who play the game in a different way than I do. I mean, technically any anything can be useless if you really want to look at it, but uh, I might be getting a bit too philosophical here. <laughs> if we look at it in the very nihilistic way. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Um, but yeah, anything can be um, seen as... Oh no. <sighs> well, that's annoying, sorry about that. Getting allergies, I guess. Um, but yeah. Anything can be seen as uh, as useless depending on how you choose to look at it. Like I personally never use the alley, or well, haven't used the alley yet, but I've seen people use it in in a way that, yeah, it made total sense to use it like that, and uh, it, it it really made their game experience a lot better, even though it never help with mine hope I'm making sense but yeah where's the squeaky chair squeaky chair is gone it has been gone for a while now sadly um, Uh, due to uh, the lack of information, we can only go off their main points, putting Sniffer and Tough at a disadvantage yet. Uh, from what they provided from the video, Rascal seems to give Iron Pick access. Yeah, but it's... I think that uh, people feel like they, they are already completely coded and they're all in the game and but I don't think that's the case. I think it's just an, like a, a vague outline of what they uh, they want it to be, and like they they have ideas, but it's none of that is truly clear, and uh, yeah, it's it's not. It, they don't have like a, a clear idea of what they want. They're just showing basic concepts. So just a a mob that comes from an egg found in ancient ruins that sniffs 
and could find seeds. Like, for example, they mentioned um, having more plants. I'm pretty sure they don't have the plants themselves figured out. Or uh, they don't have the loot of the rascal already figured out and they're just not giving anything for for some reason. I think it's just it's it's not done yet, so they, they don't they don't have the info. I think that's uh, that's my guess as to how it actually works. It felt like they rushed the vids. What do you mean? That they would have rushed the vids? Because keep in mind, like they're not gonna put too much time making a mob that, well, making three mobs, two of which will be removed from the game. Like they, they they're not done yet. They won't. Think think of it just from a business perspective. They're not gonna. They're not gonna pay their employees to make something that they're gonna they're gonna scrap. Just depending on on where the community goes. That's not how they they run, I guess. Yeah, but as I'm saying, like we don't, they didn't give enough information, but. The information isn't there yet, I think. I, I, I don't have any insider information, but I... I yeah, I, I just think that this information does not exist yet. They're just... They need to, uh, to know what the community is going to vote for before they... They go further into coming up with, like, a... Like a, a, a more... Uh, fleshed out version of the mob. Like they're not gonna make them completely fleshed out, completely fully designed and then submit them sub submit them to the vote. It's my thoughts, my um, hypotheses on uh, how it works. Of course, I am not an employee at Mojang, so I cannot know. And also, as they usually say, the ideas themselves aren't... They're not... Uh, they're, they're never truly gone. Or like the... The, uh, the mechanics... Or... Well, not, not the mechanics, but the... Uh, like, I'm, I'm thinking of... Like, there was in the first mob vote... The infamous first mob vote. Uh, there was a mob that was supposed to eat enchants from items that it, uh, well, that it ate. <laughs> so it would, it would eat your items, or it would, it would grab items on, on the ground and eat them and remove their enchantments. That kind of turned into the grindstone instead of being a mob. Which, to be honest, I don't really mind <laughs> having a, a mob that. Like, if you die and you, your gear gets thrown on the ground and you just lose all your entrance, that, that would suck. There's no better way to say it, that would just suck. seek or something that moves objects just to put it back I think we all know the answer yeah but as I said it really depends I, I think the tough golems have the the, the best potentials the, the best potential to um, like bring a life to a build like if you got a, a bunch of uh, those golems that kind of walk with a purpose instead of just wandering around can make a uh, a build look really cool. Like, if Tough Golem gets added, I have an idea already of like a, a village where they would be added. And I, I think it would be like a, a cool addition to the, the village I have in mind. Um, 
So now we have a better view of what I'm kind of trying to do. And uh, still not that convinced by the way I'm doing it right now. Mm, I'm not sure how I should be doing that. Like I have an, an image in my head but I can't properly make it happen in the game here. The thing is, I don't have access to any stairs or slabs, sadly, with the block palette that I have, unless, unless I switch to, um, Yeah, I could switch to uh, those, uh, that, how do you call that? Nether bricks, yes. I'm gonna try it on a wall, maybe like, make it look a, a bit less, uh, snow layers. Uh, yeah, but I would like to have inverted stairs here, kind of make it into archways. Uh, but I'm starting to think, since that would be more of a, um, build with a purpose um, like it would be okay to use actual materials that are not just ice and snow plus it would give a bit more color so I'm just gonna try it on this part here and I mean there, there's still gonna be ice and snow everywhere of course but just for the arches they're gonna it's gonna make them contrast a bit more I guess I'd start with something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. Yeah, totally. We got something going now. Perfect. buttons and freezing later move the realm objects and freezes yeah well I mean then again they're still they're still more elaborate than just uh, throwing snowballs at mobs and and dying right after that or uh, let's just have a lot of health and kill anything that's not too far away. <laughs> All right, see ya, Ryder. Thank you so much for uh, for joining us and it was cool hearing back from you it's been so long but yeah have a good night have a good uh, good rest of your day and say hi to the the others for me if they still remember me Mine shafts need a big improvement. When they come up with these golems, I, I guess they just want to 
come up with stuff that has some kind of functionality, but uh, still have uh, something like a bit special about them. Because you, you, we have to keep in mind it's it's all of that. It's a promotion, promotional uh, event. It, it's a promotional thing, like the the mob vote, like that. It's always about you know bringing attention to the game. So of course, like if the mob votes controversial, they're happy. That's what they want. It brings views. It brings conversation around the game. It it's it's all. It's it's uh, yeah it's it's what they want. Like it it's still it's a business. They wanna sell the game. They wanna sell things. They wanna grab the attention of the community. They wanna expand their community. All of that. It, it's just normal that they would do that. Big brain move, I don't know. Yeah, it's it. I think it's pretty, pretty common. I don't know. I'm I, I'm not a very uh, business oriented person, so I I don't necessarily know all that much. But yeah, might fire back. I'm I'm not sure how it could fire back. I mean. It's not like they're they're doing anything like absolutely controversial that would make a majority of people leave. I mean, it's it's just a well, there are people who get way too involved in that, but like people in general won't really. I mean, of course, anything could happen and could, could prove me wrong, but I yeah I, I don't see how we could fire back. You gotta go. All right. See you, banana boy. Thank you for uh, for joining us. Thank you for joining us. It was fun having you around. It's always fun having these discussions. Uh, five likes. Oh, that's very cool. Good to know. Thank you for telling me. That's fun. That's great. Awesome, awesome. Probably we're gonna be back. Glad to hear that. And yeah, the next stream we're probably gonna work on another, another one of those villages. Not sure where we're gonna work in the next stream, but yeah, it's gonna be one of those. than that. I don't like this one either. Thing is, it kind of lacks a bit of depth. But, other than that, it's cool. It is cool. Yep, I'm very happy with the change to nether bricks. It was a good change, I think.
that doesn't work. Okay. Can't come up with ideas like a couple weeks ago. No worries. No worries at all. I can still come up with ideas from time to time. I have my moments. Uh, so I can get I, I kinda got a bit silent here. I'm uh, a bit focused on uh, on what I, I'm doing. Trying to make things look good. getting rusty yeah I've been going through that also so I think I think I mentioned it earlier but I started the big ice patch in the middle this one here I mean at some point it's just like a, a circular top and a line <laughs> across would look like a, an Among Us character <laughs> <laughs> There we go, Among Us. Even better. Perfect. It's very, very sus. Very, very sus. Um, I just need to remove this one here. So it was a bit too much of the same shape. Uh, so if we switch it like that instead. Wasi ice patches. What's wasi? Never seen that word before. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's good enough. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. That's a good. A good way to build those little things I wanted to build here. Goes well with sussy. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, I uh, I started in a new job about a month ago, and now I started my old job also. This time with uh, reduced hours because of the new job, but yeah, I uh, oops, still have that uh, that old job, so I'm getting pretty tired pretty quick. I had a day off today, so that's why I'm streaming tonight, but uh, other than that, yeah, I, I wouldn't have streamed. <laughs>
get really deep into politics at this moment. Well, I mean, it's okay to discuss politics, it just depends on the way it's done and the context that it's done, because putting too much stigma around politics kind of makes it seem worse and make people want to talk about it less. Uh, he's been dead a long time ago. The old you, you mean? Yeah, it's it's okay to change and to evolve and to... to yeah, just become someone different. We all grow. It happens to all of us. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I need to go and do something for just a second. I'll be back in a yeah in a second. Okay, I'm back. I am back and now. Uh, oops. Need to switch windows. There we go. There we go. Oops. Hello, back. Yes, hi, back. Where's Omni? I don't I don't know. No one knows where he is now. Has been gone for so long. No one has seen him since the storm. So yeah, I might rush this uh, this this village uh, at some point because snow season is coming pretty soon, pretty quick. And so yeah, it'd be fun if uh, I I didn't have snow in my uh, in my uh, my hobbies at the same time as I have snow in my real life. Uh, how will I do that? I'm gonna make this one stick out by one more block. How did I do it here? Okay, that's how I did it. I put one block here. Uh, 
and snow is beautiful. Uh, as I often say, way too much, every time someone talks about snow, snow makes great pictures. Snow is great in pictures. <laughs> In real life, snow is annoying. <laughs> we start to see the problem. The problem more and more, the problems. But yeah, with with snow, it's it's a lot more fun when you're a kid. Though I do remember my parents having to uh, force me to go out during the winter. Because now, to be fair, I don't mind... Well, I, I don't mind the cold all that much. Cold is okay. I, I can walk in the cold, no problem. I just You just dress up properly and you're gonna be fine. That was a weird typing mistake. You mean a uh, problem singular? <laughs> I do remember my parents having to make me go out during the winter back when I was a kid and now I'm, I'm okay going out I just hate having to like, like walking through snow and coming home and your your boots are all wet uh, all all of that sucks but getting inside and you're still kind of cold and then you just drink some coffee or some uh, hot chocolate and everything gets better that's a very fun sensation or a fun feeling <laughs> brain getting rusted affects the fingers it does that it definitely does <laughs> I have noticed that as well. that these kind of alcoves yeah I think it looks cool it's gonna look cool like when there's multiple layers of that yeah yep 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 I am very happy with the choice to uh, change colors Going back home from a huge snowstorm outside and sleeping next to a chimney at night. Yeah, that's a very great feeling. Totally, totally. One of the best feelings. Wrapped up in a blanket. Uh, 
Um, now, the thing is, I'm looking at it, I like it, but it's a bit repetitive. A bit. So... Um, well, before we work on the repetitiveness, I'm thinking of... Because I kind of noticed the pattern, we got three, three, three. Got these four in a corner here. So we could make another pillar here to kind of cut the whole thing. And then make, maybe make another three here, which would probably reach. So like if we move this pillar here to there. Uh, we'd have room for three, it would reach here. I think it would work. I think it would work well. Plus it would justify the uh, change in height because the ones we put here are going to be... Wait, no, no, they're going to be the same height as these ones. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but still, we can move them. Also, I'm starting to think maybe I could lower these ones. Because they're all moving up one block each time so if we move them these three down one block and then it could like wrap around and be like a spiral something like that that'd be cool that would be nice um so there are two things also that i'm thinking of to as i said work a bit on the uh repetitiveness of the uh, of the texture here so uh, using walls and maybe fences though it's it won't really make a big difference against itself here it already looks a bit better though uh, oh I uh, might have to make it a bit more random than that Oops. spiral would be really cool yeah thanks yeah I think it would be a, a cool way to uh, to uh, to organize things the one thing that I um, don't like all that much is uh, well not that I don't like but I'm, I'm really not sure is how I'm gonna uh, work around this wall here because we got this big uh, ravine here this big hole and um, like I'm not sure well I, I was thinking of having a hole around the entire thing you know, kind of like castles usually have a, a, a moat, so it would be kind of like a, a moat, but with no water, with just just a big uh, big trench around it. And I'm not sure how that trench would work against this hole here. I'm not sure. But it's something I'm gonna have to figure out. It's not that that big of a deal. Uh, so, 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 so. Just start by lowering this. And this, and this. Now. <coughs> Oops. Seems to be the lyrics to a song 
that I'm not sure I recognize. <laughs> sure what that song was, I'm sorry. Oops. at some point what uh, style of music is it Okay, making it singular. It's one favorite song, unless I'm not getting what you're saying. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry about that, I keep coughing, I'm not sure why. That's super annoying. song that's cool that is cool I'm gonna have to check it out now <laughs> have to <laughs> sound a bit f uh, fatalistic or the right phrasing f fatalist okay. I have to do that It's more like an egg, which is now giving me lots of lore ideas. Dang it, no, I have enough ideas for this place. Let's not start thinking of like, I don't know, frozen dragons or stuff like that. Now is not the time, maybe for a season two. If there ever is a season two of that project. Uh, so how far apart were they? It's just like three blocks, right? Three blocks, two blocks. You didn't miss anything too big. Don't worry about it. I just count it to three a few times pretty much it and I also had to uh, restrain myself for uh, from uh, coming up with more lore because yeah 
I, I got enough lore. But do, do you think that they look like eggs? I kind of feel like they look like eggs. So, uh. Kinda, yeah. Sorry about that. I really hope I don't sneeze too loud in my mic. Yeah, ancient ice dragons. That's kind of where my uh, my mind went. Yeah. But as I said, enough lore. Wait, no. Is there such a thing as enough lore? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try and include giant ice dragons into that in, into that uh, that village. Stop insisting. Uh, why did I remove that? I need to keep my marker for my path. Wise mystical tree says hello. Uh, hello, wise mystical tree. He's very wise and very mystical. That's convenient because, like that, that could be considered false representation if it wasn't. you go by the wise mystical tree and you are neither wise nor mystical that could make cause mistakes and uh, embarrassing situations where you would follow the uh, the sayings of a tree that promised to be wise and mystical but is not yeah I, I, I can see how that could be very bad for many people involved uh, 
So this one's gonna go back by one block. Like a so. That's good. That is good. We just need more snow back here. Oops, I got the hiccups. That's annoying. Wait, no. There we go. There we go. find something to say that's different from there we go I feel like I'm saying that phrase a lot like way 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 too much happened here. That's a bit ugly. Wise mystical tree. Well, hello, welcome to the stream. Your uh, arrival has been announced. See, let's disappear like he never existed. Wow, that's that's special. The dude has multiple personality. Oh, so you're just another person. I I thought you were like an actual wise mystical tree, but it's 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 okay. It's fine, even if you're. Uh, Another identity of CLS. I uh, I respect you nonetheless. Uh, no, not nonetheless. That's not the right phrasing. Why did I say that? I respect you anyways. <laughs> I really didn't even mean to sound mean like that. You're not real, but you're still wild. Well, not being real makes you a lot more mystical. There's, no, there, there's nothing more mystical than something that's not even real. Like, not even being... Uh, being res restrained by the confines of reality. 
that's cool. Uh, it'd be great if we could have some, uh, like, snow layers, but underneath. It'd be really fun. It'd be great. But, sadly, we cannot have that. Anyway, thank you for stopping uh, stopping by, Wise Mystical Tree. It means a lot. It really does. Uh, but yeah, we got something now. Um, I was wondering what would be in this corner here. So now I'm thinking I'm just gonna... Because I can't really make another alcove here. It, it wouldn't really fit in that well. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. Hey, it's my pleasure. I wouldn't stream if no one showed up, so thank you for showing up. Making everything better by just showing up. really wondering what I could be putting in this corner here so I think it's just gonna be uh, an access to the top of that little spiral here that will go down that hole perfect ah I fell down the hole Giant ice tree. That's a very good point. I was wondering what I could be putting here in this corner. Because now all we have are a few rabbits. Which we could put some killer bunnies here. The thing is, they probably won't survive like one day. Because they're, they're still rabbits and they, they hit hard but they kind of die pretty easily they're kind of easy to kill uh, so like a, a rabbit area would not be the best choice for this place but a big mystical frozen tree would be amazing here in this uh, in this place I was really wondering what I could be putting here also I'm gonna need to uh, Make something for the top of these, uh, these spikes here. Just have to uh, come up with something. Now I just need to take a look at this place from a bit further out. <laughs> the only bad attribute you got from CLS is his stupid typing mistakes. Hey, that's that's totally fine. Uh, you, you make typing mistakes, I make speaking mistakes, so it's... Uh, there's no problem at all. <laughs> but yeah, having like a big tree here would be cool. And yeah, yeah, yeah it, it would allow me to uh, use other types of... Uh, well, uh, other colors than just the ones we uh, we already have in this entire biome. 
so that would make things a lot better. <laughs> Also make the other ice packs around those two big ones smaller so they pop out more uh, yeah well they're gonna be bigger than, uh, than that like they're, they're gonna I just need to add the spike part and I'm thinking of like maybe having like two spikes on this one and maybe three spikes on this one and I'm gonna use uh, probably, probably gonna use a lot more blue ice for that. They seem kinda lost in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of the bigger problems that I have with this place is that so far I got two colors. We got the, the packed ice color and the the white of the snow. Like we, we don't see much else other than that, so uh yeah. But yeah, thank you for your your words of wisdom. But it's it, it's already something I uh, I intend to take care of at some point. <laughs> but here I think we're gonna be getting some some cool new colors. from the universe so thank her well thank you universe always very helpful very very helpful universe as always So we can go down a tiny bit more, make this a bit less steep. Doesn't like talking too much. I, I can relate to that. I'm not someone who talks too much. Also, which is kind of ironic because right now I'm streaming, so I'm supposed to be constantly talking. There we go. Perfect. It's already been an hour and 40 minutes, well, an hour and a half, because I've, uh, I started quite late, or not, not late, but uh, you know what I mean. There was a bit of delay between the start and the, the actual stream, 
Uh, so let's work a bit more on the path. And then I think we're gonna end things. Talking with people in real life. Uh, it depends. It, it depends to me. Uh, well, for me. I, uh, I, I get what you mean. Sometimes you just got nothing to say to people. Uh, but when you're with with the persons, at least you can get a little something from whatever. <laughs> like right now, let's say for you, I just have a username and, and nothing much. If I don't ask questions, I don't have anything. But if you were in front of me, I, I could find something about you a bit more easily that I could uh, relate to or not, not relate but uh, use as a uh, discussion point like a, a tree in real life cool that's cool but still uh, like I, I don't know what type of uh, like do you have many leaves what kind of leaves do you have are you a uh, an evergreen tree or a uh, what's the other name in, in French we just have the the leaf tree and the cone trees that's just how we classify them but uh, like, that's all information that I could get in real life compared to with a, uh, a mic and a cam. Or, well, not even a cam. A sarv tree? I'm not sure if I know what that is. Is it something I should Google <laughs> or... <laughs> Give me just a second, I'm just gonna, gonna blow my nose. I uh, used the break that I took uh, to to blow my nose to look up uh, Abarco Sarve trees and yeah they do look like some very very wise trees they really looks uh, look like they uh, they fit the bill so yeah that's uh, that's a cool looking tree it does look a bit like spruce as you said you are very informed about your own species, <laughs> which sounds a bit weird now that, I'm, now that I'm saying it out loud. But yeah, that's a very cool looking tree. Sort of reminds me of the, uh, in Game of Thrones, the, the weirwood trees. Sort of, not exactly, but... Uh, like a very, very big uh, trunk. 4,000 years old. Wow. Very old. 
but we always have to be careful because age does not equal wisdom. It's a big prejudice that we have to uh, to fight because I've known very old people who were really not wise. Who boy were they not wise. Um, so yeah, always have to be careful with that. Uh, so here I would start can I fit one here? I can if I remove this, but now I'm super close to the wall. Uh, so, actually, you know what? Just gonna... Yeah, just gonna make it stick out a bit. And it's gonna be right here. by Zarathustra himself. So it's a very famous tree. So it wasn't a species of tree, it was one tree, one specific tree, right? Or did I get this wrong? interesting to have uh, to, to know like uh, some specific trees like individuals not just species like I remember one okay sorry the species or but a bark who is the location oh, okay, okay okay that makes sense like the, the one tree that I know uh, like had a, was known like Specifically, like that one individual was the I think was name the name was the Tenere tree, I think, which was a uh, tree in I think Morocco or well it, it was the most isolated tree in the world. Uh, it was in the middle of the desert, and uh, it got run over by someone. It was used kind of a as a landmark or a. Like a, a way to guide people through the desert, and someone just—I I think the person was uh, drunk and ran into that tree in the middle of the desert. So now there's a monument in its place. You used to be friends, okay? That's—I'm uh, sorry for your loss. I didn't mean to bring bring that up uh, for for that. I'm very sorry. You poor old tree. Though with uh, the amount of wisdom that you you possess, I'm guessing you're uh, you're good at dealing with grief. Right? How did you deal with the the loss of that uh, that tree? Very wise, not as mystical. Well, it, it, it did get run over by a, a drunk driver. That kind of removes a lot of the mystique. Sadly. Um, so now we have reached a point where... Let's see put this here, these three, I uh, would probably be, what, two? Like that. 
Ah, even two won't really fit in. Huh. Why this had to happen? I heard silence. Oh, okay, yeah. You, uh, it's kind of a Highlander thing. You get the, the wisdom and the knowledge and the know-how of the, uh, the other person when they die. Or did I get this wrong? bit problematic now, but if instead I do it like that, now I have a big, big gap here, which I don't really like. Okay, yeah, so you, you weren't always the mystical or the wise mystical tree. At some point you were just the mystical tree. And then you uh, gained the wisdom of uh, of that one, of the Teneri. When it got run over. That's a very sad story. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Excellent. but his wisdom lives on very very wise words his wisdom truly does live on <laughs> Hello, Dev. How are you doing, my friend? Hello, hello, hello. Glad to see you here. You can say hi to the uh, the wise mystical tree. Sorry, I had to look. I couldn't remember the order of the words in, in the, the title. We have a uh, very esteemed visitor tonight. You have sadly, yes, it's been an hour and 55 minutes already, and I'm Getting kind of close to, uh, or well, closer to uh, ending the stream than uh, I, I was to starting it. it. I will not be doing a four hour stream this time, sadly. Sorry to uh, share such terrible news. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier during the stream, I, I work at uh, 8.30. AM tomorrow and it might seem it, it might not seem too early 
to some, but it is for me. Because not too long ago, that was kind of the time when I'd get up. And not too long ago, but for a very, very long time, like for the last six years ish, I'd, I'd get up at like eight. Well, not not eight thirty, but seven thirty, eight, stuff like that, somewhere around that. So yeah, it's uh, it's still hard. if you can keep the conversation going yeah but at, at some point I'll really have to uh, put my foot down and, and and leave and go sleep we, can, we still have I don't know a good a, a good 15 to 20 minutes maybe more Hey, it's alright, don't worry about that. It's cool to have you join us. Either way. So how have you been doing, buddy? How was your week? Haven't, uh, haven't talked to you in, yeah, in a week. So show you what we've worked on in today's stream. Give me a second, just need to add a few bits of snow here and there. Like that. There it is. So, I had this big open area here. Uh, if you remember the layout of the place, so we got the path that goes over the ravine, goes through the wall here, goes back over the ravine, and then we have this place here where I said I wanted to make something that would um, be like in a big hole. So that's what we started working on. So we got these kind of little alcoves here and they're all like like that in the walls and they go all around the place. I still need to do a lot of decoration, um, but that's kind of the idea. <laughs> Told you he's wise. He really is a very, very wise tree. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it, it reaches all around and it's going to kind of do a little spiral, so... Uh, like it's gonna go around and it's gonna go yeah in, in a spiral until it reaches the bottom I'm not sure exactly what's gonna be at the bottom almost too wise sometimes yeah sometimes uh, it, uh, it it really looked like a, a very wise tree CLS <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of the the idea for this place so yeah I think it looks it looks cool um, as I said, need a lot of more decoration because right now they're just 
empty and they're a bit bland, but that's the idea for uh, for this space that we had, and we have also with our friend the mystical wise tree. Uh, we figured out what to do in the last part of the uh, well, the, 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 the one the, the one part that I wasn't sure what to put, or what I wanted to put there. Um, over there. So we're gonna have maybe... I think I'm gonna keep the field of uh, blue flames here, but we're gonna have like a big tree that's like kind of uh, stuck in, in ice and, and snow and stuff like that. <laughs> totally not insane. Hey, we, we all have our moments. It's okay. I mean, I did talk to a tree on YouTube for a very long time. <laughs> so don't worry about it. It, it, it was... A very special moment for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's what we did so far in the stream. And we started off with a big raid from our friend Eye on This. So always always fun to start the stream with uh, something like that. Always, always very enjoyable, very cool of Iron Dis to have raided us. But sadly, we will not be able to raid her until um, until I reach uh, uh, the, the the appropriate amount of popularity. Which is a thousand subs. So when I reach a thousand sub, I'll be relevant enough to raid people or something. I'm not sure exactly what the reasoning is. Your internet keeps freaking out for some reason. Yeah, that's uh, super annoying too. I'm guessing it's uh, part of the uh, general situation. Hope everything gets resolved soon. If you ever saw on this, uh, don't tell her about the wise mystical tree. Why shouldn't I tell her? Why should I not tell her? As the uh, wise mystical tree uh, visited her already. Did she had a did she have a bad encounter with the wise mystical tree? Because I, I, I need to know what I'm getting myself into. If, if I'm going to keep a secret, I need to know what it's about, of course. You know? Um... So I'm kind of I'm trying to figure out how much, like how deep this is gonna go, like how many turns we're gonna be able to do. So at least one more, one more would go out here-ish, down here, and here, maybe there. Well, this turn here will reach all the way here. Oh, really? The universe started a big hurricane. That's not... That's not good. So the wise mystical tree doesn't have a lot of patience, does it? You made typos, it's okay, it's okay. I I still understood what you meant. 
Um, so the thing with that is, at some point, like, because the height here with just one turn was just perfect, just good enough. So I'm thinking, like, when I reach, it, it's gonna have to be shorter segments, probably. Anyway. It's all stuff that I can figure out later, uh, because right now my, my brain is not, it, it's not braining enough, sadly. You deserve a, a better br braining on, on my part that I cannot uh, give to you. I'm very sorry. So we're gonna have to end the stream. Getting old and getting old, seeing... Too many people to trail, except gets annoyed easily. Yeah, I get it, I get it. But still, hurricanes are a bad way to deal with uh, anger. There are better ways to deal with anger than that in, in a... Uh, I would expect better from a, from a wise tree, is all I'm gonna say. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, we're gonna end stream now, so thank you so much for everyone that showed up even if it was for just 10 minutes at the end of the stream it still means a lot that you showed up and i truly appreciate it so thank you so much for coming over and have a fantastic rest of your day bye bye